Well, in CMML, the, the first key challenge is, is to identify new therapeutic options. Uh, we have some therapeutic options in the tables. Uh, the only curative treatment is allogeneic stem cell transplantation. We can also use hypomethylating agents or hydroxyurea, but we cannot be satisfied with the medical treatment of this disease. So we need new ways, and there are now many, many new potential uh, treatments on the tables. We need to test uh, these treatments to identify the best one. And I am pretty convinced that in the coming years, we may be able to identify more efficient drugs uh, to take care of these patients, maybe by, with new concepts also to target this disease. What I would like to mention is that uh, we could change the concept. So far, what we always try to do is to eradicate the leukemic stem cells. This is the way we think. But in this disease associated with aging, in which the residual body type stem cells are very few, uh, maybe we could treat these patients another way, which is to control the inflammatory component, which will both improve the quality of life first, which is of course very important because this is a disease that induces a lot of fatigue and so on, and, and secondly, uh, step down the progression of the disease. And, and this actually might be sufficient. We could probably uh, live with such a disease if we are able to control the inflammatory component that push to the progression of the disease towards acute myeloid leukemia or uh, exhaustion, uh, global exhaustion of the patient.